In this video, we are going to be doing something that is quite literally just insane. And that is upgrading every single accessory inside of King Legacy. Now, it is an understatement to say that this was an insane amount of work. The amount of materials that you need to upgrade every single accessory, because some of the hats are needlessly expensive, is extraordinary. This is the most materials I've ever had to collect in one video. I literally spent the last 10 days just trading for the item. Not even counting. AFK time that I did before I even started the video. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it massively helps out the channel, but let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to take a very long time because I need all of these materials. And I've been AFKing for a while and I currently have 26,000 gunpowder. And my first goal is I want to get all of the Sea King Fins, Hydra Tails, and Phoenix Tears. Because that is going to be the most expensive and annoying thing to get. So I need to start doing a lot of trading. So let's get started with that. And here we go. The first trade of the video. 2,400 gunpowder for six Sea King Fins. There we go. Now we're up to seven. Next trade, we're giving 3,000 gunpowder for three Phoenix Tears. So now we're up to six of the 22 needed. So thank you to that guy. Really appreciate it. Here we go. Another trade. Trade is a small one, but 350 gunpowder for one seeking fin. Here we go, another good trade. One hydra tail and two seeking fins for 2,100. I find very few hydra tails, but I only need like very little of them compared to both other things. So I, I don't mind very rarely getting these. Okay, here we go, another small trade. 1,400 gunpowder for four more seeking fins, up to 14 now. 3,000 gunpowder, 300 leather, and a fire essence for two hydra tails and two more seeking fins. Now we're up to 16, and then we have now four hydra tails. We have half of what we need hydra tail wise. Small trade, we're giving 1,200 gunpowder for three seeking fins. Perfect. Okay, very small trade. 400 gunpowder for one seeking fin. Weird trade, but it works. Two rubble fruits for a seeking fin. Also doing a, another trade, which I don't know if I'm overpaying or underpaying because I think of epic fruits being worth two per seeking fin, but I'm trading five flames for three seeking fins. But I also see some people say that currently at, at time of recording, flames are like right in between half a seeking fin and a full seeking fin in value. But either way, I don't really care. I now have 24 seeking fins. Okay, here we go. Another trade, 1,200 gunpowder for three seeking fins. We are now up to 27. Okay, here we go. Another really helpful trade. I really need this trade. A Phoenix tier and a Hydra tail for 3,200. 200 gunpowder. Perfect. Trade six magma fruits for three seeking fins, two each. So very good. I'm not using the magma fruits at all. And now this guy will have a fully awakened magma fruit right away. Man, I wish it was that easy for me. It took me a very long time. But there we go. Now we are up to 30. We're getting there, but we're almost out of materials to trade. Okay, next trade is kind of bulky, but I'm giving these four items for four seeking fins, one phoenix tier, and one hydra tail. And then I'm going to go ahead and trade again and just just give him 350 leather because I couldn't fit in the other trade. There we go. That is all the materials for Phoenix Blade V2. I'm pretty sure uh, that was fair trade. It's honestly really hard to tell with that many different items, especially with partials. Hey, look at that. I ran a Sea King and I got myself a Sea King fin. Perfect. That just saved me 400 gunpowder. Monumental save there. Okay, and we are back four days later. I have a bunch of gunpowder, but before we start trading it away, I want to go ahead and trade my ult from the 24 hours as Kaido video. If you haven't watched that, it's really good because this account got insanely lucky during that video. Go watch it out. There's actually a lot of stuff I end up doing in the video. But just from the video alone, I got all of these, but I've also been using this account to AFK materials since that video and like when I was AFKing between clips clips in the video. So I have a bunch of random materials that I need for this video. So we can actually go ahead and look, let's look at those rewards. That is those all for me getting it. All drops. That is insane. But we can now mark ooze off the list. Way more than enough of that. And with this trade, we can go ahead and mark a vital fluid, angelic feathers, and leather. I also have a bunch of twilight orbs from AF King vampire fluid. So that's also really nice. Look at all those items, my lord. We have way more than enough of these. I finally have enough leather. All 14,000 of this was from the alt account, by the way. And let's actually go ahead and mark up everything else I have done now, too. I also have some lower amounts of other materials like these. These... 
and these. Alt account being incredibly helpful yet again. But okay, so now that I've done that, let's go ahead and I just want to mark off everything that I already have. That being carrots, leather, angelic feathers, scrap, iron, fresh fish, sea king blood, gunpowder, of course, shark canines, and, and candy. I have way more than enough candy. So that is a pretty significant list of the items done, but yet again, okay, we can also technically mark off hider tails, but I'll probably end up trading some of these away during the video, trying to get more phoenix tier but I'll mark it nonetheless. So these are done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start trading this 17,000 gunpowder, hopefully get some more Phoenix tears. And I'm gonna go have the alt account AFK more of the side materials. Stuff that's pretty easy to get, but just takes time, like the crystals, bones, breadcrumbs, stuff like that. It's the easy stuff. Okay, first trade, 800 gunpowder, 400 each for two seeking fins. We're now up to a 39. Okay, this trade is probably gonna be a bit dumb, just due to the fact that I really need Phoenix tears and not exactly easy to find i'm doing a fair trade of five seeking fins per phoenix tier so 20 seeking fins for four phoenixes which works because now i'm at 14 we're getting closer but now i only have 19 seeking fins probably a bad trade but these are really hard to actually find not a lot of people trading them okay and also gonna do another one of those trades five seeking fins for another phoenix tier and i should also mention that up to this point i've technically been lying about the amount of materials i need because i don't actually have all the hats in the game there's two hats i'm missing one of which is the abyss symbol sentinel armor which i'm trading four quake fruits for there's about two seeking fins worth of value for three seeking fins worth of value so i'm getting a good deal here and to be honest i just really want to get the armor because my lord but there we go okay let me actually see what i need for this i'll add it to my totals i need plus 15 dark damage and reduced fruit damage by 10 percent looks like okay i need i just need some iron i don't even need to add these to the total because i have so much of this but i do need 30 more dark beard totems now so let me go ahead and add 32 how many i need now so cool yeah pretty chill pretty chill requirement these are gonna be kind of annoying though to be honest i also look at this right there i just got a crimson scarf from this npc right here that actually took like an hour to do for some reason but i've also this is curious and apparently i was also missing this accessory i didn't even know it existed until i just looked it up after that last trade but there we go uh, that's not that bad actually pretty good stats overall yeah i didn't even know that item existed apparently most people don't know it exists for some reason so there we go another item that i now have that i didn't let's go see what the upgrade is on it please be cheap i already need so many things ah uh, oh, the, the rags are annoying but everything else is fine all oh, the rags why okay update the values and rags these two don't matter i'm pretty sure i have everything now i triple checked this is literally every single hat now yeah we're good now we just need an unreasonable amount of materials okay here we go 2600 gunpowder for five seeking fins and an essence of fire a bit higher price than i normally go for but i just straight up can't find people trading them right now okay here we go another fruit trade four light fruits for two seeking fin we're now up to 21 dragon fruit and ice fruit for seeking fin Okay, here we go. 5,500 gunpowder for 11 Sea King Fins. 500 each, which is above my normal price, but I now have 11 more, so we're at 33. Okay, here we go. Two Phoenixes and two Dragons for two more Sea King Fins. We're up to 35 now. Okay, here we go. Another trade. Two Magmas for another Sea King Fin. And one more Light, two Ice Fruits, and a Flame Fruit for two more Sea King Fins. I mean, yeah, this worked. How is this actually more profitable than doing gunpowder? Buying fruits over time has been worth it. I'm at 30 now awesome it's so many more also here's a rare trade 3000 iron i never get to trade iron for a seeking fin okay here we go we're trading five seeking fins for another phoenix tier i'm doing this again so now we're up to 16 all right we got another one of these trades five sea kings for a phoenix tier and here's another with a dragon orb. 5,000 gunpowder for two more Phoenix tiers. This guy had two somehow. So now we're up to 20. Two more to go. We're also gonna do 3,600 gunpowder for another eight Sea King fins, which is also really good. There we go. We have done a lot of trading this day. 32 and 20. We're so close. We still need so many of these though. Pretty easy to get though normally. And then, okay, so we're just gonna get rid of these. 22 of my Sea King fins we've been trading for, for 150. 54 samurai badges that is seven badges per fin normal market value is five per fin so i got seven so that's that's a decent trade plus i've, I've grinded these a lot and i just can't get them so 155 samurai badges are now done off the list and yeah basically just getting rid of all my seeking fins to this one guy but essence of fires 35 of them those are now done i hated grinding grinding like 
three of them. So I just want to get that one done too. Literally everything on the desert island just sucks to grind. So get, get all those done. But 56, I need 55. So there we go. That is now done. I'm also going to go ahead and there's one thing I want to do real quick because I'm basically out of materials now. I do want to upgrade one hat and that's the water hydra mask because apparently you can use this and the human fruit to grind thief rags. I want to test that out. So let's test that out. Okay, yeah, that AFK did not work whatsoever. But next day, and I already found a pretty good trade. It's 5,000 carrots for sea wraiths, sea king blood, and some ice and magma crystals. All right, here's another trade. 800 gunpowder and 200 iron ingots for a bunch of lost rubies, which I need, sea wraith, which I need, and these, which are just nice to have because these have value. But yet again, that was mainly for the rubies and mainly for the sea wraith because it's very rare to find people actually trading these because most people only have a few, and if they have them, they don't trade them. And I also just realized I have 31 of these now because of that trade. That means I'm officially done with lost rubies, so thank you. Another item off the list okay here we go here's another trade a dragon and a rumble fruit a dragon i just got from a hydra boss and a rumble i bought from shop so basically just paid a bunch of in-game cash for a seeking fin perfect four thousand gunpowder last of my gunpowder and for eight seeking fins that that's not too bad we are now back up to 13 we still need so many of these because i plan to trade these for other materials Oh my goodness. In fact, speaking of other materials, I've had my alt account also of King materials. So now I have all the ice crystals, magma crystals, breadcrumbs, and pile of bones that I need. So that is four items off the list. I ran out of materials that I could effectively grind overnight because I die occasionally when grinding the totems, but I've had to grind totems up. And also I had to grind shark canines off of the shark boss. So 58 more of those, which can be traded for Sea Kings. Oh, wait a second. I finally got a title. I got the Sea King Nightmare title. I just killed the Sea King that was in my private server. No actual drop, but I finally got the Nightmare title. There we go. Very good. All right, here we go. A tail and two fins for a Phoenix tier. Now we just need one more of these things. Okay, here we go. 2,000 iron for another Sea King fin. Perfect. Okay, here we go. 30 of those shark canines from earlier for two Sea King fins. Perfect. And here we go five sea king fins for one phoenix tier we now officially have all of those awesome i do now to get one hider tail back though because i just traded one away but yes very good very happy about that okay there you go 15 more canines for another sea king fin okay here we go here's another sea king fin and here we go just getting all these done because i hate grinding them i don't know how people do it but 13 to 50 thief rags for eight sea king fins that's like over 160 per which is really good it's like 168 per normally goes for like 150 so there we go got all the thief rags done i don't know how people, i don't know how people were in those i legitimately don't understand it i've tried following like the two ways that i found but i just can't do it but there we go all of those are now done one step closer but another step back because seeking fins are still pain okay another three seeking fins very good trade and here we go the last of my carrots from my original carrot grind like over a month ago i am now trading for nine sea wraith it's twenty thousand for nine i honestly don't know the value trade between these two because carrots just keep going lower in value per carrots but i really need sea rates and i can't ever find trades for carrots especially for what i need but that's good 17 now and a twist of events i'm training for gunpowder now mainly a sea king fin but also some gunpowder for my twilight orbs perfect okay here we go Six thousand iron for three sea rates i'm pretty sure i'm overpaying okay trading for another six sea rates pretty good and also here's another three for some iron perfect okay here we go another seeking fin and sea wraith okay like two or three days later and we're doing our first trade 560 gunpowder for one seeking fin and two sea wraiths and okay this day's ending short i'm trading the rest of my gunpowder for nine fins and a hydra tail 5700 there we go doubled our fins again and then i got my last tail again there we go back up to max really good and here we go trading for the last of the sea wraiths i need for 1000 iron this material is finally done now we just need seeking fins and dragon scales dragon scales are gonna be a pain though i mean i, I can probably just trade all my seeking fins for them i i have enough but my lord the seeking fins will take forever if i do that oh yeah and the reason why i say those are the only two materials i need is because i just had my alt finish all the totems so there we go 52 and 54 I'm also having it grind carrots back up because I spent all my carrots and I actually need some of them. But look at that, over 70 dark beer totems and then I got 100 lucidus totems. So we have enough now. So literally the only
only two things we're needing is sea king fins and dragon scales, which are going to be a pain. But we're getting there. All I got to do now is grind up more gunpowder, I guess, so we can do more trades. All right, here we go. I do have fruits to trade, so two flames for a sea king. Okay, now what the heck was that? I ignore my outfit. I I'm, I'm just a buff crab right now. But look at my hands. You notice something about the hands. They're changing colors. I just, as a joke, out of boredom of trading, decided to spend like 200 of my gems. I spent about 140 of them so far on armament. Oh, why doesn't let me talk to the guy? Come on. Let me interact with you. Okay, I can't interact with you. Let me head back to spawn. But I was rolling armament color just as a joke to see if I can get the last two that I'm missing. And I just rolled art. Let me see why I even changed that. I don't, I don't even remember. I don't know if it'll say the percentage, but I just got arc. I don't, I don't even have apricot yet, but I just rolled arc. That is a point zero, I think zero three percent chance. Two zeros. It might just be one zero and a three, but either way, that is insanely rare. My lord. This is unironically one of the rarest items in the game because you can't trade for it. One second. Yeah, there we go. So whenever I have hockey enabled, it's slowly changing colors. Same with the swords. That is awesome. I was not expecting to get that. I was just doing it to see if I get apricot. Interesting. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start trading for these now. I'm going to try to do one seeking fin for 15 dragon scales, which is market. It should only cost me 15 total. So I'll be able to get all these done. Then I'm just going to need way too many seeking fins. So we're just going to do that trade again. And never mind, we're not going to do trades for Sea Kings for Dragon Tails. I'm just going to trade three Hydra Tails for 200 of them, which is more than I need so I can retrade some of these for fins, but also it's a massively good deal because I can just trade my fins for the three Hydra Tails again. So there we go. Oh, that was a really good trade. It's probably the best trade of the video just on pure profit. So I just spent nine Sea King fins worth of value for almost 14. So yeah, that was profit. Now I just got to get these back again. Oh my Lord, I keep having to get these stuffs back. And ooh, it's your three. Speaking, but I still didn't get anything good, my lord. But yes, we can go ahead and mark this off the list. I only needed 251. Because look at this. My 15 scales is time for the Sea King fin. <laughs> I got one back. Okay, here we go. Three Sea King fins worth of value for Hydra Tail. Got one of those back. Awesome. And here we go. The last two Hydra Tails again. We got all the profits back from the dragon purchase. So now we just need Sea King fins. And just so you know, for all the Sea King fins in total, I need 24.4 thousand to thirty point five thousand gunpowder in order to trade for it all that, that's if i do like 400 to 500 per seeking fin so hopefully the lower number because that would like save me a day or so but i also plan to trade fruits so hopefully the fruits lessen that number a bit oh let's go just get a hider tail from this awesome okay, i'll trade that away for some fin okay here we go another seeking fin and another and another and another and another and another another three for my hider tail and another okay and the next trade is kind of risky i'm trading two sea kings just below two sea kings worth of value for an acro scythe which apparently sells for five to six but i don't see a lot of people buying them right now so there we go and if you want to know how i traded for that i traded it to my alt so i have two of these now the real question is can i sell it that is gonna be that's gonna be the major question and another sea king fin there we go and yeah it looks like it paid off i basically just got seven 700 gunpowder and traded it for five sea king fins that worked out it pays to have an alt account max level because you can transfer this stuff really easily there we go up to 27 now that was that was a good trade i don't know how i'm doing this but i found another acro trade for 1000 gunpowder this time 300 more than the other trade but if i sell it for five it'll still be massive profit hey sea king fin awesome that was from a hydra though so i guess it's better than nothing there's another two sea kings and here's another two sea king fins for the acro scythe alongside a hydra tail so made profit profit on that and here's the hider tail for three seeking fins so i got my seeking fins out of it awesome and here we go last of my gunpowder for the day for two more seeking fins there's also a hydra here so we might get lucky oh well, the chest was lucky a tier three but we got no drops from it sadly well here's another nine nine shark canines i guess for a seeking fin I'll, I'll grind those up on the alt and another seeking fin for an iron ingot awesome and another seeking another seeking fin trading ten thousand, just under ten thousand, because all i have but ten thousand cares for a phoenix tier i have now have to grind back up the carrots but now i have another phoenix tier which is kind of cool and yeah here we go here's the phoenix tier trade five more we have 49 of the 61 we're so close probably another day or two of trading we should have it okay here's another fin and here's a hydra tail which i just traded for three fins there we go all right here we go two seeking fins for three thousand iron i will take that running low on iron i gotta be careful trading it away at this point but that was worth it and here's another seeking and here we go trading my rest of my gunpowder and a seeking fin to make it a fair value for a phoenix 
Phoenix tier. There's also another trade, 1,200 iron ingots for a Sea King Fin. And here we go. This should be the very last trade we have to do this video. One Phoenix tier I just traded for for five Sea King Fins. So after way, way, way too long, I, I finally have 61. We can mark it off the list. So technically the only thing we don't have for all these items is the Santa candy. Now, I'm not gonna go for the Santa candy because it has a horrible, horrible combo that makes the item really rare. First of all, it's been, I think, I think over a year or two since it was last added to the game because they didn't do a Christmas update this year and I don't know if they did one last year with it. It is practically useless. Nobody has like more than five for trade, which all means that the value is incredibly random from person to person. And not only that, my amount I have listed here is actually wrong. I need more than the candy I have listed right now. I think I need like 450 or so in order to actually, tr in order to actually upgrade to these four items which all suck they have like the worst stats ever i mean this one's not too bad actually for reduced damage but there are better hats like example this much better or just like any of these so yeah i don't think i'd actually upgrade them in this video i mean if they change the requirements hopefully next update because they didn't do a christmas update so hopefully they'll go in and change the requirements for the upgrades and remove the santa candy in that case i'll upgrade them or if they for some reason do a christmas event in january that also works because the trade for all the santa candy might actually double the time it takes me to finish this video and i've already spent almost a month on it i'm pretty sure if you count all of like the preparing ave came before i even started it now one of the slight problem or a couple trades ago i traded away all my carrots so i have none uh let me <laughs> let me afk a couple thousand of real quick my all's already working on it give me a minute okay there we go should have enough carrots and i also grabbed a bit more gunpowder so i actually have enough now so let's go ahead and start upgrading our items now i'm guessing we'll go ahead and start off with the halloween items because they're pretty simple hollow lamp has a pretty Pretty easy crafting recipe so there we go same with the pumpkin head and the hollow shawl there we go not too bad in the stats either there's definitely better hats though like the only other limited hat we can actually upgrade the seeking school it is quite expensive taking our first seeking fins and hider tails but there we go that is also technically a halloween item i think that was added on one of the halloween updates but there we go 50 percent seeking damage reduced damage is nice and six percent damage not too bad but seekings are kind of easy to kill anyway let's also go ahead and just for the fun of it upgrade the commons neck which are very cheap that one takes rags for some reason and this is much more reasonable only scrap now let's go and upgrade some items players would actually use like dofi's glasses which is basically all of the carrots i needed actually kind of good 35 5% fruit damage and 20 run speed. I mean, just to see. Yeah, that movement speed is really fast. Then we have Dark Beard Hat, which is like one of the best protection hats out in the game, but I have the crab armor, so I'm not going to use it ever. Dragon Necklace, which I see a lot of players use, and I can see why. Wow, that's a really good set of buffs. Our Knight Necklace, finally, which is 10 of our Phoenix tiers. That is insanely expensive, and it's only for sword damage. So there we go. That's like all my Phoenix tiers gone. And Prestige Dagger, which is basically the exact same thing, but I think it's slightly worse. I honestly can't tell. Might be about the same, because I see a lot of people asking for this too but there we go that's a bunch more of our rare materials then another battle pass item the knight hat this takes a lot of our dragon scales and more of our phoenix tears legendary hats like phoenix tears noted and then for the last of our phoenix tears oh i hope i don't need more oh i really hope we don't need more well either way we can upgrade to zoro's kimono there we go oh how much i hope there's not a single hat in here that needs that i'm gonna be so mad but inferno cloak done uh, honestly probably one of the worst upgrades for a legendary hat like this this one's not worth it but i'm doing it now let's go to upgrade all the cloaks because they're all the same except for blackbeards which is probably actually worth it so there we go let's also upgrade some first sea hats like the eye patch horned hat i think it's actually it for C1, so gazelle mask, shoulder armor, sentinel armor, crocodile's cloak, and biscuit soldier are gonna be next. All relatively cheap but all really bad. Next, we can do some of the marine items like Ponder Cloak, Blue Admiral Cloak, or Coat, Lucidus Coat, Hefty's Coat, and his glasses. Now for some miscellaneous hats, we have the Metal Fin, which is needlessly expensive. I don't, I, don't, I don't even remember how you get this thing. I think it's from Hard Raid, but that is way too expensive. Flame Hair isn't too bad. Same with Sea King Jaw, pretty chilled. Reduced damage for Sea King. Just a worse skull. Let's also do Dark Sentinel Armor, Ocean Tentacles, which are, is also 
are really expensive for some reason. And let's also go ahead and upgrade the scarf, including the crimson, which I did not know existed a few days ago. So there we go. That isn't too bad for stats either, to be honest. Then of course, then of course we have the mask, Tengu and Oni, which are all, which, are, which aren't too bad, but they take a while to grind for. Good stats too. And some more miscellaneous items like Fluffy's cloak, which isn't too bad for damage reduction. Pirate necklace and Sally's crown. So I think that's all of the normal items in the game. The only items I have left are battle pass items. I've already upgraded a few of them, like the, I think dagger. I actually, I honestly don't remember if this was the ace NPC or the battle pass. And then we also have night hat already upgraded, but we have the Irritus mask, which is very expensive for absolutely no reason. So there we go. Straw hat, which is also incredibly expensive for no reason. I don't know why. Like even this belt is a better item and is cheaper. Like what the heck? Crown of the sea, which honestly isn't that bad for the, for the upgrade. There are better hats though. Stealth cape is also really cheap for a lot of movement speed, but I mean, it takes so long to get. There's no point. Bear hat is very cheap. There we go. Then we have cyborg goggles. Oh yeah, I totally forgot this hat too. There we go. But here's Usopp's hat, polar bear hat, and oh, what do I have enough? I'm one off. Dang it. Yeah, here we go. Golden shoulders. Why is this so expensive? 22 seeking fins. I was off by one. Okay, I need to go. I need to go okay, I need to go get another real quick. Oh yeah, and just to show, I do have enough for the glacial shoulders, the elf hat, Santa's hat, and the antlers. It's just yet again impossible to get. But I was so close. Okay, let me go get one more, and then we'll be done. This is such a stupid item to upgrade. Look how bad it is. And look at the price. This is the stupidest item in the game. Okay, here we go. I found the trade. Two phoenixes and two does, which I can never really trade does for two seeking fins. Perfect. Honestly, I was practically just two phoenixes for two seekings, to be honest, because those are just not good. But with that trade, we can now upgrade the dumbest item in this game. The golden shoulders, which is needlessly expensive. There we go. <laughs> so now we have every single hat, to my knowledge, fully upgraded. There is not a single one in the game that I do not have. I'm pretty sure. And then I can upgrade these if they can just remove the fact that you need Santa candies or someone trades me some. Both of which are unlikely, but I have the rest of the materials, so I'm counting them. My poor material list is now basically empty. I am I am so poor. Well, time to AFK Gunpowder to the next update. I'll be AFKing for two years.